All right, last video. Last time you're going to have to hear my lovely voice. Uh, right now, what you're doing is I want you to make a tall box that goes over the horizon line like this, tall and skinny. Uh, pause the video, take a second to do that, and then we'll get to uh, drawing intersecting objects. All right, to start off an intersecting object, you really, like most things, start with a vertical line. Uh, this one's going to be above the horizon line. So I'm making a vertical line on this side of my cube. Now, <clears throat> here's the tricky part. Lining up with my opposite vanishing point, since this is on the right side of the object, my left vanishing point, I'm going to create a line that extends from that vanishing point. I'm going to skip all of this and then extend the line out after there. See that? So it goes like this, stops at the box. When it reaches this line, it continues. I'm going to do the same thing for the top of it. Extend out, go back. So right now, it kind of looks like some funky beam is shooting through our building, and that's what we want. Uh, at this time, we can put on our sides to this beam. So don't connect the ends. Make a vertical line. Make a vertical line back here. And erase everything else that'll get in your way. So I'm going to erase this little bit back here, this bit on the building, and all of this here. So right now, it looks like this flat little beam has shot through our object. I'm now going to line up all of these corners, these four that I can see that aren't on the top here, with this vanishing point and make small lines. They don't have to be super long because if they're too long, then it won't look like the beam is going through the building but wrapped around it. So all four of them, I make these little ends, right? So we have the side of our intersecting object. Now all of these come down. Now we're not just going to connect our ends on these. We're going to use vanishing points and verticals. So from the top here, I'm going to make a vertical line down. You got a little bit extra hanging off there. I'll erase later. And then from here at this front part, I'm going to line up all the way with that far vanishing point over here and cut in the bottom of my beam. You can see here it didn't quite extend far enough. I'll bring that out. Over here I went too far, but I can erase all the extra stuff. And if you look at that, it looks like this object is stuck inside and zooming through this other one. Uh, what happens if you change sides or you change where you are on the horizon line affects your intersecting object as well. If I were to do this below the horizon line, opposite side, line up with my opposite vanishing point, extend out, extend out, we can see the side of the beam. I put my end caps, as I call it, on there, my two vertical lines. Erase all the extra stuff. Now, my six or my four corners, boom, 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 and boom. I line up over here with this far vanishing point. Well, not far. That's a close one. Here, that vanishing point is far. And that's going to start giving me my thickness. Remember, I'm not connecting the ends of those. I'm making a vertical line. And then this is extending back. That's how you can create intersecting objects, objects that are kind of passing through other ones. Uh, something you can try if you really want to push your creativity is making a column. You know, because these are intersecting objects going left and right, which you'll have to have two for your assignment. But we could also think about the idea of a column. What if I had a vertical line going through this one, right? And I extended to my two vanishing points. And I do that at all edges of it. So you see how I had to go left and right to my vanishing points on all points of that line because it's vertical. And then I could put in the side here, the side here, and it almost looks like a column. It's not quite done yet, 
because just like any of these objects, when we draw you know, a cube in space, I gotta put the bottom or top on it by crisscrossing to those points. I could then erase all my extra. And now I have created a column through an intersecting object. And by doing some of these things, you can get really creative with your drawing and your space, especially when you start thinking about all of this building on stairs in places, putting in arched doorways, windows, and whatnot. Heck, if I had a window here even, I'll just sketch this quickly, I could show my intersecting object where it would be passing through the interior, right? So you can really start getting creative with what you're showing uh, your viewer and the people looking at your art by your play on what is happening in the space. Just like here, if I had an arched door here, that I'd sketch in, I would see this intersecting object going through this building, right? In fact, I'd even see where it comes and hits through this wall. And that creates a whole different idea of what we can do with space. All right? So, have fun with intersecting objects, windows, doors, stairs, all of the things we've discussed and you've practiced, uh, because you're gonna have a project coming up soon where you're gonna demonstrate all of these things.